Hello, veteran on two in here. Welcome back, and we are let's playing Tales of Fantasia. And in the last episode, we began exploring the final dungeon. I was rescuing party members while uh, collecting Darius emblems. Darius emblems will allow us to bypass a little transporter there that uh, teleports people to jail. That's what all the bad guys are wearing to protect themselves from that. Yet, they only design shitty prison doors with locks and be, that can be picked by fucking swords, which is really, really fucked up. I mean, you shouldn't be able to pick a lock with a freaking sword, but hey, you can in this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, we want to head over this way. Yeah, we're gonna head over this way again, up the stairs, and we're gonna want to go through here and up the stairs, past the save point. Alright, now at this point right here, make sure to double check to make sure that all your characters have uh, Darius Emblems equipped, because if you don't have Darius Emblems on all your characters, then, uh, then you're gonna have to do this part over again, which you obviously don't want to do. Okay, I think we're good to go. Alright, in between that battle and now, I went ahead and unequipped all the Terrace emblems because we won't need them anymore at this point. Did I already go in here? Yes, I did. Whatever. Yeah, I'm going to come over here to this door and examine it. And look at that, it opens for us. How about that? And treasure troll. Alright, we get some seeds, a holy bottle question mark helmet and a question mark sword. What was that? Star home? Eh. Vizier's ra rapier. Eh. Speaking of which... Oh yeah, star gloves for Chester. Yeah, those are better than the uh rare gauntlets, except the rare gauntlets actually help protect against, uh, Earth, looks like, but, eh, whatever. You cannot equip helms, huh? Yeah, not as good. Moving along. Ooh. Starting to look all colorful in here now. Alright, uh, let's head to the left, I guess. Maybe we'll run into some new enemies. These are not new enemies. At all. But at least I'm showing off Meteor Storm, so I don't have to show it off again. As you can see, that's pretty damn good. You can hit, it hits multiple times for pretty decent damage. If the meteors happen to hit the target, that is, if they just kind of fly all over the battlefield, then eh, you're much better off just using um, Big Bang. Much better off. So in fact, seeing as Art seems to be kind of addicted to that spell now for whatever reason, yeah, I'm just going to disable it so she doesn't use it anymore. And yeah, there's actually a guy that hangs around behind these pillars somewhere in this dungeon. Uh, that you can pay gold to that will uh, basically uh, level you up depending on how much gold you give them. Alright, we get a holy bottle. And what's through here? And up here, we get a chest with a room bottle. And up here, we get a couple more chests with a savory and a melange gel that I don't care about. And in here, 
All right, we got a new enemy here, Archbishop. I didn't think we were going to run into a new enemy, but we did. You're targeting the wrong enemy there, Arch. Why are you not targeting the Archbishops? Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's one thing that I've uh, I've noticed since using Big Bang. It hits enemies on the entire battlefield. Not just the screen. It hits enemies on the entire battlefield. That's what makes it so good. So yeah, it's amazing. Forgot to mention that. So yeah, what I was saying earlier, I'm so used to the other spells in the game. I haven't, like, you know, it hasn't clicked in my brain yet. Okay, I don't want to go up there yet. Now we got some treasure this way, some more seeds, another apple gel. And something over here. Oh, wait a minute. That just comes back around. No, oh, whatever. That works. <laughs> yeah, they're toast. Yeah, that's a good thing about uh, the tech I'm using. The tech I'm using right now, it's uh, it just knocks enemies back, which is really useful. Like it sends them flying across the screen, which is freaking awesome. Especially when you're trying to pin them in the corner, you know. All right, so we were on the stairway before, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Okay, uh, it's shut tight. Damn it. Well, I guess we'll just have to find a way to open it. There's got to be a switch somewhere around here, right? Maybe it's a switch that's over here. That's the beginning that was over there. And, wait a minute. No, I've already been in here. What the frick? Oh shit, you got to be kidding me. I'm missing something here. Is there like a switch I need to hit? Ha! Oh wait, I've already been in here. Where is the switch that I'm supposed to hit then? I'm very puzzled. Hmm. Damn it! Can't go that way, so we gotta go this way and through here and over here. What down? Oh, okay. Hello, seal eye. For your fools. Okay, I, I don't understand what this seal eye is saying. But yeah, we're gonna have to take on two of these seal eyes, because they're blocking doors that we need to get through, apparently. But I am not worried about these guys at all. Not at all. Things don't stand a chance. Well, oh, there's one dead. Come on, turn around. There we go. Whoops. Goodbye, evil eyes. 
Yay! Leveling up is good too. I like leveling up. Pull the lever, yes. We will do so, that way we can access places that we couldn't access before, like, uh, you know, those doors that were locked. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I go in here already? Apparently I had. Okay, a light bottle and an emerald ring. Hm. What about this one over here? Did I open this one already? Hmm, sage. Okay, apparently I hadn't actually explored that before. Okay. Apparently I hadn't gotten that either. Whoa, look at this. We got a new enemy, Zombie Giants. We have Zombie Ogres. Light damage, anyone? Goodbye. that one yet. Uh, okay, yeah, here's that melange cell that I couldn't get before. Is this it? Yeah, okay, it opens that, that up, now we can go in here. If I'm not mistaken, wait a minute. Before the end comes the beginning. Right. Alright, I think I get the general idea of what I'm supposed to do next. And you know, if the enemies would stop attacking me, I could probably freaking do what I gotta do. But as it is, they keep fucking bothering me. And I have. I'm using an item that's supposed to lower the encounter rate, but I just don't see it. I guess I wish it would just, uh, you know. Eliminate the encounters, I guess. Okay, we can't go down there. We're, we're, we we want to actually ignore all the doors and switches for now. Unfortunately, me ignoring all the switches and doors means that enemies, well, enemies aren't going to ignore me. So yeah, we want to hit the switch here in the far room over here. Now we want to start hitting switches in all these rooms on our way to where we're supposed to be going. Okay, we get armor. That needs to be identified. Mumbane. Yeah, I don't care. Although, if you didn't have Klaus's best armor uh, yet, then that would be pretty good. Okay, we get some spices and a rebirth doll. And through the store is another switch. And another switch. So basically, yeah, you just want to go to the farthest part, and then just as you backtrack, just keep hitting the switches. Alright. Another switch. And if we hit this switch here, there we go, it unlocks this door, and we can proceed. Yay! 
Man, those archbishops are annoying if you don't kill them quick. Uh, where is this reaper guy? I know there's a reaper guy around here somewhere. Yeah, let's just examine the mirror. And proceed. Which way do I go? Hold on. Whatever, I'm just gonna wing this next part. Yay. As if those really help. Oh, they don't seem to help. Okay, we get a resist ring. Ish. Ooh, look at this. Another one. I shall grant you death's most gruesome. Yeah, whatever, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do that. You cannot warp out of the way of my wrath. Okay? Now we got them. Now they're both screwed. If I can just keep them both in the corner over here, they won't be able to do jack shit. <laughs> All right, Chester gained a level. And what's this? Someone scrawled a map of this floor here. They even marked a hidden passage in the room downstairs. So, okay, we know about the secret passage now. That's cool, I guess. Wait a minute. I already get the shit in here. Too many doors. Too many ways to go. Okay, that's the mirror. That's the... Okay, I know where I'm at. What the fuck am I doing? Why does this shit all look the same? Oh, I hate it when games do that. <laughs> what the fuck? That's ass nine. Really? It just loops in on itself over and over again? What the fuck, man? Alright, apparently, uh, we're supposed to go back. We're supposed to backtrack. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I guess. So that room with the mirror, I guess, is where I have to go. Back through the mirror. And to the right. There's a secret passage over here. Oh, there it is. How about that, huh? All right, we get some lavender. And it looks like there's a big treasure room over there. Hmm. All right. Look at this stuff. Hmm. 
magical pouch. What in the world is that? Let's find out. An enchanted bag. Items will occasionally pop out of it while exploring dungeons. Hmm. Mystical pouch. An enchanted bag. More desirable items will occasionally pop out of it while exploring dungeons. Yeah. Cool. I don't really care though. That works. Uh... Now I'll give these to Quas. Hmm. Alright, for sure in this area there is somebody or something I can talk to. And I'm not talking about these stupid fucking enemies that are attacking me right now. Oh, come on, you can run faster than this. You're never kidding me. I might as well just fight him now. Screw it, I'll show this battle. Yeah, sometimes it's just easier to fight than run away. <laughs> So which way would I, do I want to take? I'll take this way. Okay, that locks behind us. It's up here. Switch. Does something. Yeah, I'll try going up here, I guess. Aha. And we get a pair of elven boots. What the fuck is this room about? There's nothing in here. What the frick? Okay, I'll just go back. That's all I can do, right? <laughs> the game's trying to pull a fast one on me. Yeah. Don't pull this lever. Whatever you do, don't do it. Yeah, the lever gets rid of the mirror. And the mirror takes you back to here. Right at the beginning. So let's go through here again. And this time let's go to the left. Alright, now somewhere in this spot right here. Somewhere. Right? No? in this room? What the frick? Could have sworn this guy would be hanging around somewhere in this room, but maybe I'm wrong. You know what's bullshit? This guy that's supposed to be in here that shows up that you pay gold from the level you up. Well, it's random. He only shows up at random, so in order to actually get him to appear again, you actually have to leave the castle entirely. What kind of bullshit is that? Well, yeah, we get some milk. And I think I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Tales of Fantasia. In the next episode, well, I might be showing off the finale. Or I might not. It might be a two-part finale. I don't know. It depends on how long I want to make it, I guess, because we're getting pretty close to the end. So there you go, this is Veteran0121, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.